Okay, it finally worked. So that was, <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened there? That's embarrassing. I'm so sorry about that. I feel so much better on my computer now. So this is kind of like in my face. I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to anchor, anchor. I'm going to move this down. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Um, my TikTok and I'm going to go live on my TikTok as well. So I am so sorry about that. I was having technical difficulties and um, for some, okay, get, get on my view. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you so much. So yeah, that was really weird, but um, it's funny how kids are just like totally, um, just honest and that was, I didn't have any makeup on yet so obviously this hot pink, hot pink wig looks really kind of intense and and weird without makeup and I think I look better <laughs> with makeup so I'm putting on this wig and anyways long story short um my nine-year-old is he walks into the bathroom and he's like because we watch a lot of TikToks with girls with like um kind of like pastel colored wigs and he was like, I don't know about that wig, mom. You should, get, I think you look a little weird. You should, you should get a pastel colored wig. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I suddenly feel so insecure now and I'm not, but then it was too late to like take it off. Cause I had like spent all this time kind of trying to, to get it on. So whatever. Um, my like address on here. I guess that doesn't matter if somebody wants to send me something, but thank you so much. I, I don't know how to see who's in these lives. So I don't know if um, you're watching. I'm just gonna shimmy over so that I'm seen in the, the TikTok live. But if you wanna chat people in TikTok live, you have to reply in the YouTube live. So if you go to the link in my bio, you'll be able to go to the, the YouTube live. But Thank you so much, Dylan, for this doll. That's true. Yeah, that's, I think, what he meant deep down inside. I just happened to have this wig because I wanted to be, um, what's her name, from Closer. I don't know if you've seen that movie. Natalie Portman from Closer. Her, she's Alice, um, and she plays, like, an exotic dancer in the movie Closer with... Jude Law, Julia Roberts, and Clive Owen. It's actually a really good film, and it's very poetic. The diction or content, the language in um, the film is like very uh, elo eloquent, eloquent, and I really highly recommend this film. It's called Closer. So I don't know if, um, oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh, you're not a movie person? But you will watch Monster High movies, and I got to see those movies. But yeah, I mean, there's um, some really beautiful outfits, though. I know you like fashion, Violetta, so maybe you'll be into the fashion uh, portion of it. But uh, this movie, long story short, is just, oh, this box is like perfect for a pull-up. I wonder if a pull-up like arrived in this box. So this is a kind of a gifted doll. I ended up um, sending my pull-up doll friend uh, crystals, even though they didn't, they weren't expecting it. So honestly, I want to like tear up because... This is a really super nice gesture. Thank you very, very much. I had a lot to know. I like to watch a lot of movies from school and younger brother, just not now really. Yeah, I haven't been watching a lot of TV at all. I've just been, I've been all in the doll world. But um, yeah, I was like, thank you. I just want to shout out Dylan again for this doll. I. I'm absolutely floored that I was given this doll as a gift. And I hope that the crystals that I sent you um, were to your liking and that you loved them. I absolutely adore this doll. She is so pretty. Her eye chips are kind of like 
uh, Erica and Annette. They're very realistic, very lifelike. And this is a great box for it, but this is now my, oh, <laughs> can we see it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is now my second doll that I got for this channel. I was telling Pull Up Style that I'm gonna like mention his chat, uh, his store and all my, all my YouTube channels. And I got this huge order from Pull Up Style. I, I don't even wanna say how much it was, huge. And um, I had this huge crystal stair sale to get it. And he gave me an extra uh, Yola May. So uh, that's two dolls now. And thank you so much, doll gods and universe. So let's, without further ado, let's um, open her up. Pull up our good quality. Yes, Dark Tempest 65. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jean. She's in the box, so she's all good. She's more realistic neutral. Yes, her her face up is very neutral, but she's got great eyeliner. Oh my gosh. And she has beautiful eye chips. It looks awesome. She does look awesome. I love this box too. But um, yeah, I actually just got optical, not optical, um, steampunk Alice, I think. I think uh, she's still new in box, but it's from a pull up owner, actually, Kiki and or KK. And um, I bought it off of them. And that one also seems to have kind of like neutral side, realistic neutral. Ah, they are the doll. They are in the doll itself, good quality. But on the bad end, the wigs and the clothes are not, not always, but their face ups are a lot more consistent. But yeah, the bad end are the wigs and the clothes. Yes, this is true. Um, so far, I haven't experienced taking off many wigs, so I, I can't judge the wigs too much. But I did take off a girl with the pearl earrings wig. And, uh, it wasn't the nicest wig after. I don't think I can even uh, really put it back on. So here are the new lights that I got. I don't know if they're uh, really good, if they're washing her out or not. I kind of want to turn one of them down and see if that makes a difference. I think you can see a little bit of the shading when I turn it down. And then I can turn it up. So that's kind of cool. What do you think? I think, right, no, nope. I think we should go down one. There we go. Just a just the right amount of shadow, I think is good. So I was watching, um, I was kind of opening the boxes my own way. I need to get a cute little box cutter. They have like these cute, like tiny little box cutters. But I was watching on the triple A pull up YouTube channel, the correct way to <laughs> open a pull up doll box. And they kind of just took, um, their X-Acto knife and made little slits on these plastic side, on these plastic bands at the back, like slit, slit, slit. And I was like, oh, duh. I should have been doing that this entire time. But I just have scissors right now. I'll have to get online. If you guys know of any cute, like little X-Acto, I always see these like kawaii pages where all their page is like pastel pink and so adorable. And, um, Okay, they have those little, oh my goodness. Again, thank you so much. Yeah, YouTube, it looks brightish. At the end of the day, whatever's easiest. It does look kind of brightish, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down. So I have two of these little lights. I'm gonna turn down this one as well. There we go. Hmm. Oh, my face is dry. Oh. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was just mesmerized by this doll. Oh my goodness. The neck tag. I also kind of cut these little slits in the tape for the neck tag. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I always see these kawaii pages where they're unboxing 
just all sorts of things, um, like little decoratives for your ear pods and blind boxes, anime figures. That's a really big thing on YouTube that I've been looking at lately are like anime figure collections. Does anyone follow or subscribe to any anime figure collection channels? Because they are like amazing. So I'm going to get my gloves out because I don't know how I was putting on like glitter and stuff and I don't know um, how much glitter got on my fingers. I did, didn't rinse them all off. So do things a little differently. Normally I do the stand first, but I'm going to just take out this little neck cord. There we go. But yeah, I need one of those box cutters. They're like so small. They're like a little square. I definitely need one of those. Like, look at how I'm cutting this thing forever. Her boots are so cute. They remind me of like Yuki's boots. And I saw on your channel today, um, or on your TikTok, uh, Violeta, that you were sharing Yuki. I kind of want to watch the Japanese movie. It has really bad reviews, but I watched um, a trailer and I think it looks awesome. So there, there is a doll. I am very confused. This is what we're doing. We're unboxing this doll. Bina Cola 86. That's what's happening right now. I didn't put a title for this live. I just kind of like jumped on. So that's good to go. This is the stand. Okay, I uh, usually take out the accessories. This jacket looks amazing. <gasps> I wanna look at the jacket first. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need to get some more gloves. I wanna get some lace gloves. Seven minute full of nasty spaghetti eating in, oh, <laughs> seven minutes of spaghetti eating? What's up with the Japanese with that? Has anybody ever seen the movie Old Boy? It's also a Japanese movie. Okay, this is so pretty. Look at this. Just moving this light. It's like a little cape of sorts. It's got this amazing gold detail. And that actually looks like it's they little beads, little beads, some little bit of like chain mail cord, chain mail, chain. I was so excited because I got this like little neon sign and then I like threw on this wig. So I'm a little jittery. Pardon me if I'm, I'm not even really speaking much. I'm just showing you this. It's beautiful. It's almost like a business suit. It's like a business suit material. It's a dark navy. Oh. oh, okay, that's where her arms go through. All right. That's so cute. I feel like this would be, um, I want to like kind of make a different outfit for underneath it. What exactly? The little buttons. Oh, I'm like still looking at this because I'm like, oh, what else could be put with this? Okay. Her hat. We're taking out her hat. La 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 la. So I pulled a couple tarot cards today and it was saying um, in my tower card reading that, you know, I just need to stop going back and forth. I've been going back and forth in my head about my crystal store and I really just don't want to really do that work anymore. So it was basically saying that I should finally just, you know, come at peace with them, kind of closing it down by the end of the year, maybe, or just going on hiatus. This is interesting. It's like a polyurethane. The fighting scene are the best scenes. With the Yuki umbrella being a sword shield. Yeah, and a gun in the umbrella. I saw that and I was like, okay, I need to see this at least. I It's so epic that you've seen the movie. So you said you're not a movie person, but you saw the movie. You saw that movie of Yuki doll, gothic Lolita Yuki doll. Okay, this is interesting. It's almost like it could be like waterproof. It's a little bit of like a shinier fabric. It almost reminds me of like something of the 
interior of like a duffel bag. I don't know what you would call this fabric, but it's, it's, it's quite sturdy and it's almost like it's waterproof. And then it's got this little like medallion. So cute. And the gold. So when did she come out? Oh, I'm on the live, but maybe I can just quickly before I pop her out. Cause we've got some time. I opened her up fairly quickly. Um, let's see if we can kind of find out window, new window, I don't know, file, new window, okay, so we're going to go pull up Jean and just find out, because I think she was released fairly, oh, okay, July 19th, July 19th, so fairly recent, and... What does it say in her description? Da, 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 da. Oh, this pull-up world doesn't share. But I know that um like groove or pull-up style. Oh, your pull-ups and junk. I love this blog. It's the best blog on the planet. You can spend hours on this blog. Pull-ups and junk. Da, 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 da. I just want to see what that like little description is from her from her listing. Sometimes it'll say like kind of something about, oh, she didn't add it here. Her personality. Oh, here we go. My small but imposing foothold has a mission. My path is that I will open up. Okay, military Lolita. That's what Pulip and Junk is saying about her. It says, um, <laughs> doesn't say very much. But it says that she has a mission. So, okay. Yeah, she kind of looks political to me, actually. <laughs> Military political. So I think I should be able to just pop her on out. I sliced off the back. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, girl. That's a little stuck. Okay. She does have some plastic around her legs because she's got the black socks. <gasps> la, la, la. And here she is. Voila. My favorite part about um, the dolls are the face up. So I'm going to talk about the face up first this time. I kind of have a plan. I feel like so, like the quote. Oh, will that whole thing be on the card? On the back, I never take the cards out, but maybe today I will. Um, I know, right? <laughs> That's what you do, right? You browse on pull-ups and junk for hours every night. <laughs> if you collect these dolls, go you go to pull-ups and junk blog, and then <laughs> you spend hours and hours on it learning all about these dolls. Um, I want to talk about her face up first because what was I saying? I was saying that I want to kind of map out my unboxings and my live streams for unboxing pull-ups, kind of like first 10 minutes I unbox the doll and then the next 10 minutes I talk about the outfit, uh, I put her in her stand and then the last 10 minutes I talk about her face up. So we're coming up to that. We're at 18 minutes now. So let's talk about her face up already. Like Violetta said, she is very neutral and oh, what I really love about her lips right away is there's just ever so slightly a little bit of pink in the middle and at the top in the center of her lips. So I think you could attain that with just a touch of soft pastel in the middle. So it's more of like a, almost like a, a, a peachy pink, apricot pink, and then it's like a nude. So she's got pretty full lips and a really strong nude color. And then her lip gloss, sometimes the lip gloss goes over the lips, but her lip gloss in this situation is just right in the lines. So what I noticed about Pull Up Hello Kitty is her lips are really overdrawn and she has lip gloss outside her lips, but Jean has um, just right on her lips. And now she's got, I noticed in her pictures. I'm so, <laughs> I think she can do kind of like that blinking or that kind of sleepy eye. Yeah. 
There we go. So uh, Paulette Bouqueton can also do this. I don't know. Maybe Violetta can pipe in. Do, do a majority of the newer dolls, like 2019 and up, can they all do this? This kind of like sleepy eye vibe. And it looks like her actual eyeliner is like a chocolate brown versus black. And then she's got the nude. Yes, they can. Okay, so I love it. Um, Her eyebrows... They're kind of a, a shape that doesn't arc at the top, but they definitely have like a slight arc towards the end. And then the strokes, they crisscross kind of halfway, at the halfway point towards the end. Little three winged eyeliner, and then really um, thin, kind of 45 degree angled asymmetrical eyelashes so like some are long some are short then she's got those realistic eye chips soft blush pretty neutral like Violetta said just everything very neutral and then just a little bit of eyeliner it doesn't go all the way around the eye it actually just stops at the inner corner there kind of rounded Sometimes it's more square, sometimes it's more rounded. And then she's got a little bit of eyeliner on more like the outer. So I notice sometimes with the dolls, it'll be like all the way around, but the, in this case, it's just on the outer. And then a single line that ends. Oh, what is that? It's like a, <gasps> what is that? Mm, you know, and they're never like perfect, but I feel like I just found like a tiny something there. I'll have to look at it upstairs. Maybe I can magic eraser it. 2017 is the year they put sleepy eyes, especially steampunk, steampunk Cheshire cat to be the very first. Ah, I love that. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, outfit. So I like to discuss if they're like separates. So she does have these adorable little kind of lace trimmed undies and the undies are interesting to me because they've got like a little elastic band at the top. I haven't seen that before. So that's smart. Um, the front, yeah, the same. She's got her black socks and then these adorable platform boots. I'm sorry, but is she like British? Because she is like totally giving off. There's like kind of this like British vibe with this, this little like, metal or ribbon the shoulder pieces and this is similar to pull up hello kitty actually it's got kind of this like like bodice kind of corset that isn't attached i actually really love her outfit and i love her i love her thank you so much again um, I don't really want to handle her too aggressively or too much. Oh my gosh, my, my gloves are sticking to this velcro. Oh no. Okay. Let's put this back on. I don't, I didn't really want to take it off, but I, I kind of could have, I could have figured it out. What I love about the blouse is it it looks like a really good, like high quality cotton and it is separate from the skirt. So it's just like this cute little blouse. This is sewn to it, however. But I think if you are someone who likes to take off their outfits, skinny to cupcake shirt, silhouettes. Oh, similar color. Her outfit dress, remember to the Hello Kitty 45. Totally, yeah, 45th anniversary is like very similar style especially with the collar the mandarin collar now i think if you took off this bow though it would be pretty cute but then this gold uh trim is, is sewn to the shirt so it almost makes it uh like kind of belong to the outfit the shirt but it could go for like a holiday shirt a holiday work shirt with the little gold trim why not the skirt and then there's no like toll underneath so it's interesting because it's got like the string that attaches these two pieces together and the little red bows. So I want to see what she looks like 
I better get her on her stand here, but 360, that's her outfit. I don't think there's much to say about it. You can see it and uh, it speaks for itself. I feel like Erica Nanette's outfit is like so crazy with its skirt, its dress, its hat, its detachable like flower from its hat, its like robe, its lace robe. There's a lot to discuss with that tall with its, with its outfit. Okay. So yeah, see, that's the thing. I like to bend the stands because they kind of like, but is it meant to like kind of be more, I guess, up right under her chest? I kind of like it right at her waist. But I guess it could come up a little bit higher up around over top of her bust if that's where it's really meant to go. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to get the, <laughs> I should have got this on first, but um, I guess I could just slip it on over top and that would be all right. So I saw something incredible today on um, Instagram. I just want to, I have to hit this button here on my phone. I don't know if you've seen this account. I got to go and find it and like maybe make a short about it or something. But there is a girl who is painting or doing UV nails on a ball jointed doll hands. So she's giving ball jointed doll hands, gel nails, like designs, like shapes, like almonds, square. So cute, really well done work. So kind of like bougifying, bougifying, oh, her link, these dolls. Oh my goodness. I always get kind of nervous. <laughs> These dolls make me so nervous. I want them to be like perfect. Okay. Do, 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 is that correct? Because I put her arms through here, but I feel like it's kind of, maybe they're just not, oh. I think if they're just supposed, to, I think just her hands are supposed to go through because this part's supposed to sit on her shoulders. I don't know if her, if it was just supposed to sit on her shoulders because it's not really, okay. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Anybody supposed to, <laughs> anybody want to pipe in here? I, I'm just like, okay. I want this exact part to sit like right on her shoulder so that it comes up close to her neckline. So I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm handling her too aggressively. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's just really the wrist that fits through. Because it's not exactly sitting right on her shoulder. So I don't know. Yeah, I totally will. That's a great idea. Yuki doll and the movie. Put it all together. So <laughs> I'm going to take her hands out of this because it's it's not sitting on the shoulders on where I want it to. Then I'm going to put her hat on and we'll do a 360. Then we'll be right on time and I will have dinner with my boys. <gasps> it's funny because I don't really want to buy <laughs> A pastel wig, even though there's a lot of pastel wigs on TikTok and like I see they're like pretty popular <laughs> and maybe I'll get a stronger TikTok following if I um, wear a pastel wig, but I rather would buy my doll a wig than myself a wig. Okay. 
cute. Yeah. I just figured it out. The arms go through and then, the, and then they kind of like, yeah, like you got to pull them all the way through and then, oh. In this picture though, her arms are bent like this, and then just this much of the arm comes out. So I'm gonna test that out later on, but I do wanna get this hat on her and then give her like a little, a little like 360. Yeah, I got the sleeve through okay. I was just kind of like, it wasn't sitting on her shoulder kind of correctly to me. Okay, here we go. This light is too bright. Bring it down. There we go. And this light is too bright. I'm gonna turn this away. <laughs> Sounding like those, uh, those ASMR people. Okay, there she is with her cape, her hat, pretty cute. I'm gonna pull her arms through and take like some pictures and videos of her and put them on TikTok and uh, my Instagram page, pullup.palace. And here she is, Jean. Again, thank you so much, Dylan, for the stall. I'm like, absolutely stunned and I'm I'm not going to change her wig, her outfit ever. She's just going to live as she is like this. And maybe I could get some, um, there's actually this really big army tank downtown Calgary. And I think I'll take her there for some pictures. Um, it's summertime now. So I think she would look adorable in front of this military <laughs> building uh, with this huge tank. Um, I'm sure I could get a toy tank as well. And she would look pretty rad photographed with the toy tank. So yeah, she's got some awesome photography potential. And here she is. It's funny because I got this sign <laughs> for tonight and I just, I didn't even, it's not even a thing. You can't even see it unless I turn the lights off. What I love about her bob too, I was actually hoping that like pull up Sailor Mercury's hair was more like this, but her hair kind of like comes down but this hair is like the perfect length and her bangs are like also kind of a way that, <laughs> whoops, sorry, sweetie, that you can see like her eyebrows. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and being here. And I hope to see you next week. I'm going to unbox my Hime Hime. Am I saying that right? Hime Hime dolls next week. I have two that I got from Hime Hime and they are twins. So I'm really, really, really excited. I'm really, really grateful to um, open them up. I saw on uh, Omoka, Crush's Omoka, Omocha, Omocha. I did look that up today on Google Translate. It was Omocha. I did, yeah, I, pay, I paid layaway um, week by week. And I was actually really looking for this doll uh, artist for a while because I was watching Omocha on YouTube and I saw her custom dolls video and I was like, what is Hime? Is that what she's saying? Hime, Hime? And she didn't put a link in the thing. And I was like, what is Hime, Hime? And then I was like looking it up on um, Instagram and YouTube and I couldn't find it, her, them. And then I just came across the page and then there were these dolls. I was like, oh. I really want these, but I don't have the money right now. And she was really, really nice. They were really nice. And they let me um, do layaway over uh, six weeks, which was uh, really affordable. So that's what's happening next week on Thursday, same time, two twin Hime Hime dolls. And thank you again for tuning in. Oh, I gotta throw those in the washing machine. Gonna go have some dinner. Enjoy playing with your dolls. Tell me all about your dolls. Himi Himi is the dolls and the artist's name. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Have a great night, Violetta. You are so amazing. And we'll have to do another like monster high vibe together. And yes, message me on Instagram, everyone. I want to see your dolls. Tell me more about doll stuff. 
And yes, have a great night. Ciao.